Welcome to Unbox Talk, where we unbox it, then talk about it. My name is Jason, and today we are going to be unboxing the Live U Solo from Live U. So let's get started, guys. Uh, you can see here we have a pretty simple box that it came in. We have our uh, Live U packaging tape here. And then uh, I saw this, but I, we came in right here. Caution. It's got the caution for the lithium battery. Let's uh let's get inside. See what else we got. Alright. Pretty straightforward. I love it when there's not a bunch of extra tape on here. Awesome. It's a box within a box. I feel like there's Alright, let's get that out of the way. Just a little bit more. Just talking about the features that it can do. There's it looks like it's got their branding on there, make life simple. Kind of talks about what we're gonna find inside there. Alright, yep. And of course packaging on the other side. Let's just let's open her up. Get that brown box completely out of my way here. Oh yeah, that opened nice and easy for us. So first thing in here is our limited warranty. Looks like we've got some cool sticker swag. Just in case you have more space on your laptop. We've got here, we've got a way for you to register your solo. Just a little extra taking up space for us. Nothing rattles around inside the box. All right, what's the first thing I got here? We have, oh, this is our power brick. Pretty standard. We've got our, Power charge or power cord as well. And then we have our HDMI cord and our two USB right angle connectors. Looks like we also have a clip here as well. Get this out of the way. And then the cool part, the part that we really wanted to see that is the Live View Solo itself. Looks like it's tamper proof bag. Awesome. Ziploc, that's always a good thing for later. Got a pretty cool uh, pouch carrying case that it comes in here. Got some Velcro. Whoa. <laughs> that was almost hazardous. We got our. We got some Velcro. Those straps up here to hold your, um, hold your modems. That your your little USB connectors go to. Got a clip here on the back. See if we can get it out of here. Got a little Velcro strip right here. That just kind of holds it in place for you. Very snug. Maybe I'm missing something here. I feel like we're missing. Oh wait a minute. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. I just gotta be smarter than the straps that are in here. There we go. Just kind of get it around your angle here. All right. Whew. Sweating a little bit getting that out of there for you guys. If you look over here on this side, it's got our SD connector. It's got the slot for HDMI. Uh, we've got Spot for our micro SD card, a uh, little jack here for your headphones so you listen to audio and what have you. On the you got a spot here for your um, for the USB. That one on each side actually. Network, and then your power so a spot here for your power supply. Just your cooling your vent on the back, and then on the front here, my favorite part, satisfying. Just Peel that tape off. 
got your power cord, you got a little toggle here so when you're looking at the screen you can do your settings and then also you can see your uh, what's streaming for you when you're when you're live streaming. All right guys now that we've unboxed it let's talk about it. LiveView has been making video encoders and related equipment for years but the LiveView Solo is a product specifically intended for those interested in live streaming high quality HD video on location. The technology to do this is contained in a tiny battery powered enclosure weighing about one pound. With this little box and an HD camera, you can live stream from anywhere. In technical terms, the LiveView Solo is a small form factor HD video encoder. It allows you to plug an HD camera into it using either an HDMI or SDI connection along with audio. The LiveView Solo can stream your high quality video using various combinations of cellular, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet connections. Several factors unique to LiveView make this type of streaming not only possible, but also reliable and practical in the field. For starters, it is possible to make use of four simultaneous connections while streaming. If Wi-Fi or Ethernet are not available at your shooting location, the LiveView Solo has you covered by allowing you to connect two cellular modems at once, either on the same or different cellular distribution networks. The LiveView Solo uses what LiveView calls LRT, or Live U Reliable Transport to manage all of these connections. The LRT is able to perform another unique Live U function known as bonding, which uses all available connections and cloud computing to create a single virtual connection. This makes streaming both fast and reliable. The result of all this cutting edge technology amounts to a small, low cost, but impressive package. If you want the option to use a professional 3G SDI connection to send HD video from your camera, it'll cost you about $1,345. If you don't need SDI, the HDMI only version will run you about $995. The specs and features are impressive at any price, but there are other costs associated with live streaming in the field, as experienced video professionals are probably aware. LiveView minimizes the cost and complexity of these expenses by offering you its own cloud service, which, by the way, is required to operate the LiveView Solo. The cloud service goes for $45 per month and offers the ability to stream directly to any media platform. The high-profile video encoder found in the LiveView Solo gives it the ability to stream 1080p, 1080i, and 720p formats at a variety of frame rates, as well as PAL and NTSC formats. The audio is encoded using the AAC format, which yields better sound quality than the MP3 with smaller file sizes. The LiveView Solo offers several options for customizing and setting up. The unit has an LCD screen on the front, along with a four-way rocker switch for navigation, stop start, preview video, monitor connectivity status, and battery life can all be monitored either from the unit itself or by using the web-based portal. The LiveView can be powered either by the included AC adapter or by the internal battery, which provides about three hours of streaming according to manufacturer specs. We have not yet tested this, but several reviewers have said that they've been getting closer to two hours. Factors such as screen brightness, audio output levels, connected devices, and wireless signal strength will greatly impact battery performance. Now in the package, you'll find the AC power adapter, two right angle USB cables for connecting CDN cards, warranty card, registration card, stickers, soft protective travel enclosure, and of course the LiveView Solo itself. Taking a look at the front of the LiveView Solo, you'll find the power button, rocker switch, LCD screen, start stop button, and video preview indicator. On the side, you'll see the mini USB connector, the cell carrier card connector USB 2.0, HDMI input, SDI input, 3.5 millimeter in out audio jack, and a micro SD card slot, which is not yet used in its current configuration. Now, on the flip side, you'll find the DC power connector, the RJ45 Ethernet connector, and the other cell carrier card connector. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up for me. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and comment down below if you've used this before let us know or if you have questions about it also let us know 
And if you want to see other episodes, just go to www.unboxedtalk.com. And we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.